Hey all, this is Reddit Oscar. There was an interview regarding Armored Core 6 done at the Taipei Game Show this morning. The person interviewed was the producer for the game, Yasunori Ogura. There was no gameplay shown, and a lot of the information given was stuff we already knew. But the interview did cover a few key details that I think are interesting, and so I'll quickly relay them to you now. Ogura was asked, have you put in place any measures to make the game easier to play with newcomers to the series? He replies, we have. We plan to release more details about this in the coming days, but I can talk more about one such element today. As I mentioned earlier, one of the key elements of Armored Core is the assembly of various parts to customize your very own mech. It is the element of the game with the most depth, and for many fans, it is the most enjoyable. Seen from the perspective of new users, though, it is a very detailed and complex system, which takes a very long time to master for a lot of players. At least, that has been the case in many of the series' previous titles. This time we have put a number of new measures in place to help make assembly and customization more intuitive and logical than it has been in the past. So two key things here. He's saying that we'll be getting more information on this soon, in the coming days in fact. And he also said that the mech customization and the switching out of parts is going to be more intuitive and easier to understand for new players. Which is good because several times throughout this interview he emphasizes the fact that this switching out of parts and mech customization really is the appeal of Armored Core. They then talk a little bit about the trailer, and Ogura mentions that the trailer has a lot of new info about the game hidden in there, and that if you watch it carefully, it might give you ideas about what is possible in terms of strategy. The interviewer then asks another question about difficulty. She asks, One thing from software is famous for is developing hardcore games that are seriously difficult to clear. Just how difficult is this latest Armored Core title? Ogura replies, In this game, as always, we have striven to create a game that poses a stiff challenge for our players, and I'm confident we have achieved that. Our approach to the issue of difficulty level in Armored Core 6 is slightly different to other titles, in that the most distinctive feature of the Armored Core series is the combination of parts to customize the player's mech. As this lies at the title's core, it is really the adjustment of these parts that is key to overcoming the difficulties within the game. So it's no guarantee, but from what he's saying it seems to me that there's not going to be an easy mode. The only Armored Core game I've played so far is Armored Core 4, and that one didn't have a difficulty selection, you just could increase the difficulty once you beat the game. I expect in the coming years, you're going to hear this phrase a lot. Armored Core does have an easy mode, it's called Part Customization. So I'm looking forward to that, it sounds fun. Anyway, Ogura is then asked about boss battles, and this is what he replies. I think you will all be very pleased at the intensity of boss battles. Battle against various boss characters has always been a series highlight, and we have striven to maintain that here, by employing many of the same techniques that have been successful in the past. Boss battles in From Software games often require close observation of enemy movements to catch that little tell so that you know just when to attack and how to best make your move. That's certainly the case in this title, so I am confident that our users will find boss battles extremely enjoyable. Okay. So, this series of sentences is extremely interesting. He emphasizes that boss battles in From Software games often require close observation of enemy movements, and that you need to catch that little tell so you know when to attack. Which is, um, yeah, that's, that's interesting that he says that. I expect I'll have a lot to say about this in the future, after I've seen the boss battle footage for myself. Agura then mentions that for single player there'll be no co-op, but that there will be an online arena. And again, he mentions that there will be more information in the coming days. Really hoping that these coming days are not like the email that we all got saying that Elden Ring was going to get more information in the coming days and weeks, and it's been since then two months, I think? But I guess we'll see. Finally, the last interesting thing that he mentions is that we will be able to create emblems. Apparently, in the older games, you could freely create an emblem, and, and people could see that emblem online, and you could share it. So that, he says, will be making a return. He then gives a heartwarming message to the fans, thanking them for being so patient, and that's about it. There wasn't too much there, but it was enough to be interesting. I'll be keeping an eye out in this so-called coming days and weeks they keep mentioning, and I'll keep everyone up to date with the news if there's something of interest. Until then, thank you very much for watching.